Hi friends, my name is Trey, and this is my channel, Trey's Myths and Tunes. And my daily ritual, Trey's Timeless 15, 30, 40 hike. Click subscribe if you like it. So, anti-life aliens condescending courtesy signatures, uh, blocking the way for a free future, and what have we been doing about it? Well, you know, in the... Uh, the year 2020, we were giving out these, um, a friend of mine, um, uh, we were giving out these pamphlets that told the truth about, oh, here it is, here's a better, we're getting, uh, I'm getting mangled in the rain here, but we gave out, um, a lot of pamphlets telling the truth about immunity. Because we knew it wouldn't be in the media at that point, and even YouTube at that point. So, but things are changing for the better now. So, again, uh, speaking of YouTube and all mainstream media, is gradually um, through the works of uh, thousands of people like me on the street level uh, and a few, you know, dozens in the court systems. Um, but big up to Del B Big Tree is the, really the one of the main reasons that his works his he's. His informed action, um, informed consent action network. Um, he started this. He started fighting um, these uh, the deadliness. Just trying to get them to test um, so-called vaccines for probably ten years before the lockdown. Anyway, so he started that. So on on February fifteenth, must be this year. This is um. In a free free weekly by John D. Gums, who you know is often towed the line, but then they, you know, it's interesting they're gonna they're gonna say a, a line or two of the truth here and there, and now it's more than that. Gradually, more seep in. On February fifteenth, Florida S Surgeon General Joseph La Lapado, M.D., issued a health alert saying his state saw a seventeen hundred percent increase in adverse event reports after COVID-19 vaccinations. So I venture to say, Mark Passio and David James Rodriguez, you are wrong. You are reporting a half-truth. Okay, as I said, as a white planetary world bridger in the Maya, we need Ron DeSantis and you. We need people in the government and you because you're not going to be able to um, get a Supreme Court judge to take off the insane idea that I, maybe both you guys drive around in cars and you don't understand why this is such a big issue, but, or you're, you know, you don't fly, you just ride in cars, but for someone who, who has utilized public transportation, maybe it means I need to get a car too, I'm considering it, but Almost a year ago now, through another lawsuit, Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida got them to drop the mask mandate on public transportation, planes, trains, and buses, saying that it's unconstitutional. So that's when I, I took the Amtrak up to Glenwood Springs right after that, you know. And um, now um, I can wear this wrapped around my head with more confidence because this judge in Florida, again in Florida, has um, issued a health alert. So, um, on February 23, the Informed Act Consent Action Network announced a favorable decision from the California Supreme Court on vaccine mandates. The network's legal team, led by Aaron Siri, had won a decision in San Diego Superior Court striking down the San Diego vaccine mandate to attend schools and participate in extracurricular activities is illegal. The le legislature, which has regulated vaccination since 1911, requires vaccination against 10 diseases, and COVID-19 is not one of them, the judges noted, dismissing the school's district's argument that it offered unvaccinated students the choice of un um, independent study. This, in effect, made any local vaccine mandate school, district, city, county illegal. 
What I've been saying already through the, it was the California Constitution, the Brown Act of, I believe, 1957, which I heard of from David James Rodriguez, Ed, Edmund Roos, super courageous man back then, saw the big boys were making public decisions, you know, plutocrats in public and private mansions, and they made that illegal. So to overturn the insane superiority of this crazy negative alien inserted Patriot Act, 2001, this California um, judge has, has said, look, this is not legitimate. So there you go. What I've been saying the whole time is, you know, the accurate truth is that, it, you know, through their, their condescending courtesy, they have done a lot to terrify and coerce us into being their slaves, their cyborgs, their experiment victims, their hybridized, hybridized um, creatures and their underlings, and that's coming to an end. And the reason why it's coming to an end is because of all of the courageous activists, particularly those who can figure out how to, um, as Mark Passio said, affect the aggregate or the, the majority over 51% enough to, to create, or even in this case, uh, it's obvious that the states have been a huge help in this, that states power um i'm not a statist however uh i will say that uh they're all different their law systems are all different so that um uh, they're all uh like a different country to me because you know i have a medical need for cannabis so uh you know i could go with cbd to to some degree but interestingly enough uh CBD doesn't really address the psychological, uh, the deep-seated issues uh, as well. Um, <laughs> so that that's so that's probably why they say that you know it, cannabis causes psychosis because it actually addresses your psychosis. It can certainly cause you to become psychotic if you take too much or you're not familiar with the strain, the quality, the dose, but. Um, it's so much safer than these, what these condescending, um, possessed, you know, people possessed by the greed are trying to do. It's just the idea that greed is the highest virtue or that you should just accept what the wealthiest people say because they care. Because they have so much that they, they just want to give back because they care. It's such an unconscious idea. The idea that there is no weather manipulation when we see so much clear evidence. When, you know, the shot victims are even telling me, what's up with that? And it's like, well, um, I'm not going to tell you. You've got the, the colony growing, you know. It's like, what I'm doing here is I want to do my best to awaken everyone to the reality that freedom of choice, freedom of speech, freedom of beliefs, if you're harmless, it's your birthright. And, you know, if I remember my purpose, my blueprint to a greater degree, I'll, you know, remember that I have to have the courage to do it outside of this tent as well. I'm not saying that I'm perfect ever. I've never said that. And, um, but the mystics or the, the oneness conscious who practiced See, I've studied the mystical traditions from many or a handful of different religions and traditions. And, um, for example, I love Rumi and Hafiz, but I have no desire to read the Quran or study what it's about at all. And um, I, I love Yiddish, and I love some of the ancient um, Old Testament sayings, but I would not ever... Um, call myself a, a, a Bible thumper or a Jew, Jewish person because there's so much in it that I would say I, I do not necessarily agree with. But if anyone wants to know my real uh, views about Jewish people, is that um, they really are, run the gamut almost even more than any other race as far as um, dark and light. we got the syn synagogue of Satan in Hollywood, but... It was Jewish people who were 100% or 96% good who created 
the medical cannabis law, maybe, you know, again, through their connections and uh, or through having clout because of the structures of society, having so many Jewish people in California that, and the government that might have helped, but, um, and religious structures, but Valerie Corral, my, my dear acquaintance, Valerie Corral, and she brought the other guy who did it along with her, Jack Herrera, who wrote this book, The Emperor Wears No Clothes, which exposed the false um, falsity of these some of these um, fake, courteous, condescending courtesy statements in the early part of the 20th century in that book. And they created the medical marijuana law, okay? Dr. Zelenko is one of the most cur- courageous people in this whole war to, to go right on YouTube on Del, uh, on um, Drew, Dr. Drew's channel and, and s- just say it to millions of people, man. This is not, this is genocide. It's not okay. And you know what? We're not going to back down because this is the second coming of the Christ. This is not the... 2020 was the attempted second coming of Satan and Lucifer and the black sons and the Belial sons. And, you know, for around the year 2000, for the first time in millions of years, the Anunnaki and the, the black sons and Belial sons all agreed. You know, instead of trying to take it for themselves, they agreed this planet's going to be taken by the dark. And so, again, they have massively massively huge and well-orchestrated, extremely well-organized mind control weaponry of physical and psychological psychological destruction plans in place. Negative alien agenda is a massive power. But this is Turtle Island. This is 2023. <laughs> and we're beyond that time, man. We're beyond the time where Satan rules. I can make videos... To help you heal from a tent and not be fucked with. You know why? Because when you speak the truth and you don't lie, you're not under the dominion of liars. You can yell at them. But you know why? It's okay. Because I have a coyote on my totem pole and I yell out of love. I scream out of love. I'm a street preacher out of love. But I repented the street preacher in the process of doing this so you can do something similar you can replace your condescending attitude that you adopted from the mainstream media which was created by the kazarian mafia infested with interdimensional narcissistic predator parasite entities and all their draco and you can learn to become more respectful but if you just watch my videos and think I'm a crazy guy in a tent who's entertaining and funny and silly, that might be good. But it's not the point. The point is, is that every time you remember the Christ and the goddess, you don't pollute the earth. You don't pollute your soul. You don't want to binge on, on poisons. You don't want to harm yourself. And you don't want to participate in harming other selves. This is the modus operandi of the fake humans, the negative anti-human aliens who have inserted themselves through hijacking of our institutions, through ancient kingships since the Brotherhood of the Snake. And you have the power to discern reality enough to learn that you have the power to say no to their condescending psychic and physical violence in this insane nanobot AI take over of everything, but only when you reclaim the courage, only when you remember the oneness and it's imperative to come back to harmlessness and self-respect. When this life is for those who live, it's not for those who are dead. It's not for things from the antiverse. It's not for the fallen. The fallen are getting evicted. Fallen have been evicted from other parts. And now, let them become evicted from your subconscious mind if you didn't take the experiment and you have the courage. And click the subscribe button if you enjoyed this commentary. And create a great one, no matter how insane the exterior world is. 
Let your internal world be a ray of divine soul in action. Many blessings and one love, my family.